Good day, beautiful people. It's a fantastic Friday, August 26, 2022. I am Jerry Webster reporting to you live and direct from Tartola, British Virgin Islands. And I am Lariana Webster, welcoming you to NCC News Broadcast, where your news is dignified, flavored, secured, and delivered to you with class. class. This, this is, is NCC, NCC News, News Broadcast. Broadcast. For today's headlines, 14 quadrennial session of the North Korean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Did you miss the latest? Well, we've got you covered. Did you know the past North Caribbean Conference presidents were awarded? That delegates voted to amend the Constitution? If you want to know more, we take you over to our reporter, Yonet, for, for more, more information. information. Hello everyone, Pastors Jansen Trotman, John Josiah and Silton Brown were each conferred lifetime service awards during a virtual ceremony at the opening session of the 14th Quadrennial Conference on Wednesday. The three living prior office holders served with distinction at various times as President of the North Caribbean Conference. Dr. Trutman served from 1994 to 1999. Pastor Josiah served from 1999 to 2005, while Pastor Brown held office from 2005 to 2017. While these three were awarded virtually, the audience was graced with the life and in color presence of awardee evangelist extraordinaire Dr. Roosevelt Daniel alongside his wife Helen. Their ministry straddles two continents, as well as the wider Caribbean, and more than five decades of service in which more than 7,000 persons began a new walk with Jesus. In a brief emotional response, Dr. Daniel said, I want you all to understand that I never once considered numbers important. I was concerned about every soul making it to the kingdom of God. In other headlines, a conglomerate of 279 delegates were involved in making amendments to the NCC Constitution and bylaws. Among other decisions, delegates voted for seven special delegates to be upgraded to delegates at large in order to conduct the business before the body. The upvote was also given for a re-elected incumbent to use the title new as opposed to re-elected. Delegates used a combination of flashcards and assigned tablet devices to record their votes. 67% of the 279 delegates were present for the session. That number exceeds the required quorum of 30 persons. Back to you, Lariana and Jerice. Wow! All this excitement in just one day. So just imagine day two, Thursday, 18 August, 2022. The excitement and momentum continued. It built as the nominating committee did their work to ably deliver the recommended officers for the next quadrennium. These names were then brought to the delegate body for further review and final voting. So here's the scoop of these new persons. Pastor Desmond F. James, President, Public Affairs, Religious Liberty. Pastor J. Wilmoth James, Executive Secretary, ADRA. Sister Sanida McKenzie, Treasurer. Pastor Hesketh Matthew, Personal Ministries, Community Services, Sabbath School. Pastor Glendon Cross, Ministerial Secretary, Family Life. Pastor Lariano Webster, Youth Chaplaincy, Campus and Communication. Sister Linda Ambrose, Women and Children's Adolescent Ministries. Pastor Danny Phillip, Stewardship, Trust Services, Spirit of Prophecy, Plan giving. Mrs. Dahlia King, Auditor. Sister Jereen Joseph, Education. 
other members of the Executive Committee, Pastor Marcus Salas St. Croix, Pastor Virgil Sams St. Martin, Pastor Pierre Rene Joseph St. Martin, Laypersons Charmaine Rogers Angula, Sharon Van Putin St. Eustatius, Guliano Santanilia St. Martin, Gillian Douglas Philip British Virgin Islands, Shirley Lake King St. Thomas, Baricia Baptiste St. Thomas, Strong Ravier St. Croix, Gillian Glasgow St. Croix, Non Office Philemon Dupree St. Martin, Secondary School Jacinta Berthier St. Croix SDA School, Constitution and Bylaws Committee, Attorney Natasha Baker St. Thomas, Judge Jessica Gallivan St. Croix, Attorney Rient Hassel, St. Eustatius. And just like that, God led the delegates and committee in their choices, and we praise God for the newly elected members as they serve in office for the next quadrennial. A resounding amen to that. In other developments, it was more than a pleasure to see my dear colleague, Pastor Kumar Smith, yes. and his wife become ordained in ministry. Pastor Kumar Smith, Shepherds District Number no. 5 on the island of St. Martin. Also, he's pursuing a Master of Arts in Intercultural Studies at the Adventist International Institute of Advanced Studies. He endeavors to unearth the deepest treasures found in the Word of God. What fuels his love for ministry is not his recognized title or its gravitational force of respect, but his ongoing experiences of divine mercy and grace. Amen. Just to leave you on a high note of praise, we conclude with beautiful moments in time through singing, shouting, and preaching. The melodious voices sweetly infiltrated the airwaves and kissed the ears of those in attendance. The people were blessed and encouraged to be empowered for the mission by George Gordon as the theme song powerfully permeated the atmosphere with the lyrics, I, I will, will go. go. The power pack preacher, Dr. Charles Wesley Knight, sliced through the word of God, rightly dividing the word of truth. What an amazing experience it was just listening to the word, you know, because in the presence of Jesus, there, there is, is fullness of, of joy. joy. Now nestled in the Caribbean Sea, located 17.7 degrees north and 64.8 degrees west. Yes, I am talking about St. Croix. This little island housed such an amazing That's and spirit-filled right. time from August 17 to the 22nd, 2022. See you again next time for another exciting session of NCC News Broadcast. Brought to you with, with class. class. I am Lariana Webster. And I am Jerry Webster. Signing, Signing off until, until next time. God bless and keep safe. safe.